In our previous videos, we've installed Eclipse and Java JDK. When we open Eclipse, we'd like to make a project, but we're going to need to create a server. Now, we can install Apache separately, but there's an even better package that we can use that combines several things, and that's WAMP. WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, PHP, and MySQL. So this is a kit, essentially, that contains the uh, Apache Tomcat, which will be our web server, a MySQL database. Both of these software installations are fairly common, or fairly easy to use. And then it also includes PHP, uh, which gives us PHP MyAdmin, which allows us to manage our MySQL instance. So I chose this over the default Glassfish or anything else that we might have, just because a lot of people are going to have experience with this, and we'll be able to use things like Apache and MySQL, even outside of Java programming. So let's download it. I go to uh, wampserver.com slash en. 64-bit is fine. We'll go ahead and click and then choose download directly. Okay. Uh, OS Windows 8.7 Vista XP, that's fine for us. So we'll go ahead and let it download and we'll give this a few moments to download. Now it's downloaded, so I'm going to select and choose open. And run. Uh, so let me go back one second. So you see what this is installing is Apache. That's our web server. MySQL is the database. PHP and PHP MyAdmin, where PHP MyAdmin is used to administer MySQL. It's a handy tool, and again, something you'll see quite a bit in the industry. So it's worthwhile to get some experience with it. I'll go ahead and choose next. Uh, accept the license agreement. Of course, after I read it all very quickly, uh, and the next. C WAMP is fine, and next, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and create icons. Next again, and install, and we'll let this go. Now, if, uh, my default browser, I have installed Chrome on this, but you certainly don't need to. So uh, I'm going to go and find Chrome, like Lander Program Files, or maybe not. And Chrome. And Chrome and open. Uh oh. Now we get this error about MSVCR one one zero DLL is missing. So we'll simply search for that. That's a download we're going to need. MSVCR one one zero dot DLL, and you see is missing comes up pretty quickly. So I select the first link, which is a uh, Microsoft link. And it gives us, as we scroll down here, it gives us a place where we can download it. And boom. I'll go ahead and choose OK on this dialog. OK. And we'll run the uh, WAMP installation again in a moment. Uh, PHP mail, that's fine. OK. Uh, we'll see how far we can get with this without that uh, redistributable. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Finish. And yes. OK, still upset. I'll choose OK. And we will go ahead and download the uh, redistributable. OK, 64-bit uh, version is fine. And next. OK, we'll let that download. Open and run. OK, I agree, of course, after very thoroughly reading the uh, license and install. And yes. At this point, it says setup successful. Go ahead and choose close. Uh, the safest thing to do right now is likely to reboot. Let's see what happens when we go ahead and click, and we'll choose yes on WAMP server. See if we get the error again. And indeed, that was successful because you see I have an orange WAMP icon. Now, I paused the video and reinstalled uh, outside the video, but it's the same steps I followed before. So you see I have an orange WAMP icon. Now a warning, if I go to 127.0.0.1 in my browser now, we would expect to get results, but we don't. We get this web page is not available. That's because I need to start the Apache service. To start that, I'm going to left click on the WAMP icon, and we're tempted to right click here, but remember to left click here. 
I'm going to go to Apache and then Service and then start Resume Service. Now, if you don't see that option or the option's disabled or it's just not there, uh, what you want to do is go to Install Service, which I'll cover in a separate video. But with that, just follow the prompts. A command line is going to come up. It's going to see if port 80 is available. If it is, press Enter. After that, it might request uh, some administration privileges. Go ahead and choose OK. After that's done, come back to this menu, and you should see Start Resume Service is enabled. Stop Service and Restart Service are disabled. So go ahead and click Start Resume Service, and give it just a few moments. When it starts, you'll see the WAMP icon is green. Now let's go back to Apache Service, and you'll see now it's the reverse of what we saw before. Start Resume Service is disabled, the other two are enabled, which means the service is now running. So let me refresh 127.0.0.1, and you will see we get results this time. Now, let's click on PHP My Admin to make sure that's running. And sure enough, that's running. So this gives us a database that we can use on our local virtual machine, and we can write applications against it. In our next series of videos, we will explore uh, how to create that database, how to create users, and how to access this database. I look forward to seeing you then.